So this quick little demo is for anybody looking to crop their template to another print size. Uh, so one of the things that I like to do in a lot of my template designs is design these in a 1-2 ratio. Um, so that just simply means that the, uh, the width is twice um, the distance of the height. Okay. Um, so why I like to do that is because from a 1-2 you can easily crop to any other print size. So real quickly how to do that's very simple is just to use the crop tool. So we're going to grab the crop tool here. Now there's one little thing you want to watch for in the crop tool and that's this box on the top tool bar here that's labeled delete cropped pixels. And now if you're on a newer version of Photoshop they actually change this to an icon instead of the text but if you hover over it it will tell you the same thing. We want to make sure that this is unchecked. If this is checked that means whatever we crop off, these pixels out, outside of this are going to get permanently deleted. And we don't want to do that because we want to be able to continue to move layers around. Okay, So we're just going to cancel this for now. We're going to uncheck delete cropped pixels. And now here's the trick to this crop tool. It's very easy. We can just go right up in here and we can set a specific crop size or there's some pre-built ones in with this drop down. So for instance, if we wanted to crop this down to a 2-3 ratio, say for a 4 by 6 print, um, you know, or a 16 by 24, something like that, 24 by 36, if we select this, it's going to constrain this box so that it only fits a 2-3 ratio print. Um, if we want to, instead of going vertical with this, switch it to horizontal, we could just click our little arrows to swap these 2-3 numbers, right like this. And so an easy thing to do is once you have your crop set, you can actually just click the cancel button and it will zoom this back out to the border of what will fit on this. Okay. And then if we click inside of it, we get our grid. And at this point we can crop it down now to this two, three, simply by clicking the check mark. Uh, so we'll let the crop run. And so now we've cropped it down to this print size in very much the same way. Let's say we wanted to crop to an eight by 10. Well, we could grab the 4 5 ratio here. We could go horizontal or vertical, whichever we wanted. Uh, let's say we wanted to crop it vertically. Click our check mark. And we've cropped it to 4 5. Now, the issue that you run into, of course, is that some of the graphics and things were outside of the bounds of that crop. But the beauty of leaving delete cropped pixels unchecked means that now we can go to our layers here, say our text layers. Uh, say our years was there, the secondary text, primary text, all these layers are now getting cut off. But all we need to do, if we grab all these, I'm going to grab the year, I'm going to shift all the way down, select to our primary text. Since we didn't delete the pixels, that means they're still here outside of the bounds. We just need to transform this down and resize. And then we can simply move these around, reline them up wherever we want. We could raise them up, raise them down. So any any graphic layers that are within the stack here are all still there. We just can't see them outside of the crop range. In fact, if we bring up our crop tool and clear our, uh, our ratio out and drag this out, you can see all those pixels are still there. Okay, so by cropping this, you're not destroying anything. You're just setting a new print size here, uh, which is going to help you get what you need much more quickly. And so let's cancel this. So let's say we got this set up for an 8x10 and we like this. What I would suggest that you do is just save this file at this point. So go File, Save As, and just rename this and call it, say, 8x10. And now that you've saved a copy of this off, if 8x10 in this template is something that you need again, you can just simply load up that PSD document already cropped to an 8x10. You're good to go. Same way if you needed a 5x7 that you use often, well, we could set our 5x7 crop here. We'll apply the crop. We haven't deleted any pixels, so we can resize our, our text and things to fit again right here. And then, okay, we'll go File, Save As. And now instead of 8x10, we'll call this 5x7. And so everybody uses different print sizes and different ratios, and so I like having the flexibility of having that full 1-2 ratio design there so that no matter what size you use, you can easily crop that. 
So if we just back out of this, go back to our full size here. And so everything is there and ready to go for you however you'd like to use it. I will mention one other thing. Again, I, I did touch on it briefly, but if you have a specific print size that you wanted, you, you don't have to use the drop down. You could simply type it in here. And we could say, uh, if we wanted a, a, a 16 by 20, we'd put in 20, 16, and that's going to give us that exact size. Click Apply. Let the crop run. Grab our text layers or whatever graphic layers are outside of the crop that we want. Just resize those, reline them up. And now we can save this one instead of 5 by 7. We'll call this 16 by 20. And now we have it to load up as many times as we want. But you can see, very fast, very simple, cropped any print size without stretching, skewing, or, or any of those things that tend to give you headaches.